Welcome to Everything Life and Real Estate. Let's get started with our hosts, Linda McKissick and Dana Gentry. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Everything Life and Real Estate. I'm Linda McKissick. And I'm Dana Gentry. Good morning, Dana. How are you? Good morning. Good. Uh, besides having dirty hair, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I said, I'm nervous that, that I, you know what I was actually thinking was, I was thinking, how could we tell Kate to just do like an audio teaser and not a video teaser on this one? Because I, my hair is filth and I have a mask face or a hair mask on and everything else. Yeah, I hear you. Well, here's the problem though. Dana texted me this morning and said, Hey, my, I look, I'm go. let's do the podcast, but I look like a homeless person. And I realized real quick, I better fix my homeless look up a little bit more <laughs> to match her homeless look. Cause her homeless look and mine are two different things completely. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I've been using though this, all this new face stuff for months now. And my hair has turned orange around my like it just, and so anyway, I figured out it's this vitamin C serum that's turning. Uh -oh. oh, I bought some of that when we were at Greenbrier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you know, I remember a thing that person said on how to use those <laughs> peptides. Why I don't like write crap down or video someone when, when there's more than one instruction, number two, I will, first of all, I don't even remember number one, number two, or number three. Whatever. <laughs> so I put, I took a picture of the product and I thought, okay, one day when I'm just sitting around, I'll just Google, how do you use this crap that I've spent so much money on? I was going to ask you if you'd been using it because I bought that hundred dollar neck cream and I feel like my <laughs> neck wrinkles are not as bad. <laughs> hey, you know what? If it's the placebo effect and it works just to make us feel better, who cares? I know I asked Adam the other day, I'm like, do you think that I have neck wrinkles? And he was like, I feel like this is a trick question. <laughs> yes. Men should, there should be a class for men that says, do you think my butt looks big in this? Or do I have too many wrinkles? Or here's what, here's my favorite. I, I used to go, okay, like that person over there, or like, am I like bigger? Or <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, oh man, you can just see that pause in his in his face of like, oh crap. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> <laughs> I do that to Adam too. We'll be walking through Target. He's like, why do you do that? I'm like, I just wondered. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's good to know that a lot of women do that, right? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, like, we might as well tell everybody today we're just chatting it up so that they don't think we like completely have lost our rocker. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it had been, well, we've gotten a lot of feedback. We've had so many amazing guests lately for the last couple of months. We did the whole health and wealth series and we had so many great guests. Um, and then we, and people have loved the guest. And then also we've gotten a lot of feedback that people missed us, just our banter. So we thought today we would talk about kind of just what's been going on and everything we're looking forward to and anything else that pops up. Yeah. And actually I kind of miss our conversations when it's Me not because part of why we even started the podcast is because it made us schedule a time to talk to each other about stuff that we wanted to talk about, not necessarily what we had to talk about in our, you know, team meetings or anything like that. Yeah. Same. I know I felt so too. And since, gosh, there's been so much going on lately. Um, you know, it's crazy that it's just been, I feel like this year, November came around and I was like, I cannot believe it's November. I know. It's, it kind of feels like the lost year. It does. Yeah. yeah, it does. Not that there's not some great things that I think have come out of it. It's just, I think it's just that resettling of the lost stuff, the stuff that's lost. And then there's still that moment when you drive around or I think about an industry that is flipping, not getting to make any money right now. Yeah. I mean, you know, our lives, we're blessed in the real estate business. It's booming. Construction's booming. We went to dinner with for Jimmy's birthday last night with our banker and his wife and his wife, you know, you met Karen on the fishing trip. She's my running partner. And, you know, we were just talking about, you know, he was just talking about, man, the construction business that they have right now is booming. Our real estate businesses are booming, but yet there's so many industries that are just completely wiped out. So it's kind of a, I think it's a mixed emotional time, right? Yeah. You're like real excited that your businesses are doing well and your people are doing well. And then on the other hand, I think about anybody who is, you know, in the cruise line business or the airline business. And, and it just, it's like, oh my, it's a little overwhelming, right? It's just, uh, it's a lot, a yeah. lot of mixed. It really is. And you know, so you and I are both my, my favorite time of the year starts tomorrow where we both get to travel to our John, to the John Maxwell event. 
Um, and it was funny. I don't know if you read this yet, but I read through, he, they sent like the, what to expect and you know, what to wear and all that jazz. And Girl, you know, I have not read a single piece of that yet. <laughs> I got, I got what, at least 12 more hours before I get on a plane. I should probably read it before then. Wait, hold on. I got to tell you this really fast. The cliff note version of what I'm supposed to do. I can give it to you, but I post, I saw this at home goods yesterday when you texted me and said you'd been shopping. I had been too. And so I text, I found this and texted to Adam, this little, you know how we like those little things that say things. Oh, yes, yes. It says, don't rush me. I'm waiting for the last minute. <laughs> oh, I got to have that one. That's so me. <laughs> I know it was funny, but anyway, the, 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 um, what to get ready for, like there's all this COVID-19 protocol for, for the trip. Oh crap. Yeah. And so, um, and you know, it was funny because between that and then where was I at? It might've been a week before last getting my, I went to get my nails done and I just, or no, I know what it was. I went all the way somewhere. Was I? I went all the way somewhere and I didn't have my mask and they wouldn't let me in. And I had driven all the way there. Okay, and I was like, listen, I have the best idea. You and I need to make some mask and they need to say, where's my damn mask? Yeah, I, know. I always say that. And I'm sorry that I just cursed. But you're just so frustrated. You have 14,000 masks and you cannot find a single one when you're about to go into a store. All the time. Every, Adam and I do that probably 15 times a week. But, you know, it was funny because between that and then, and that's happened all the time. But then reading the COVID protocols last night, I, I kind of got like sad slash pissed for a minute because I'm like, who would have ever thought that we would be doing this in our life? You know, that's the part that gets me. Like there's been so many great things and I've gotten to take a lot of different downtime and, you know, not as much traveling has been kind of good for me and just all these different things. But then I thought it's kind of sad, honestly. Like, you know what else I thought about? I thought about my little nephew, Graham. And I thought, is it, do you think he's just going to remember people in masks from yeah. like, his, you know what I mean? Like, that's so weird to me. And, you know, I think we learn a lot from kids. Every so often I post that. Like, I, like yeah. I, I have the cutest picture of my granddaughter at a birthday party with just many different nationalities around her. And they're just so loving and kind to each other. And they don't see color. And so I posted that as, can we just learn from our kids? Uh, and then there was another one. Uh, that I, I did the same thing because I think we learned so much from our kids and I was sitting somewhere the other day at a, at a restaurant and I watched one of these little kids just like rip her mask off like she's like just over it. and I said see I mean there we go learn from the kids <laughs> like over these mask things <laughs> I know I mean I get that they're you know to protect us and all that stuff but yeah I don't know it's just been a weird it's just been one of those weird times I feel like and some days I'm like oh this has been so great and then other days I'm like this is just like the new norm it's weird yeah yeah, it, you know, it's going it, to, yeah, it's, again, it's going to hurt a lot of industries and, and there's just, I think it's a, it's just a mixed bag of emotions. You go from, you know, counting your blessings on what's good and then kind of missing what's missing and what's not, maybe not ever going to be the same. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, aren't forever. We had our top, uh, you know, the top mastermind we were on with Gary Keller, I guess it was what week before last. And Adam was so funny afterwards. He said, I feel like you're always like down after you have those, <laughs> after you listen to Gary. And I said, no, it's not that. I said, I think it's that he's so realistic yeah. around things. And sometimes I have, my optimism is so high. Yeah. Like I'm the one that I'm, I miss things sometimes because my optimism is too high. Yes. So I think he gives a good dose of like bringing back to reality. And yes. I try to have my blinders on about that stuff. And so afterwards I was like, man, because, you know, we saw those stats that the, that the COVID cases are worse now than they've ever been. Yeah. And I don't really watch the news a lot. So I hadn't, I didn't even know that to be honest. Well, and have you noticed how all of a sudden for me in my area, I'm starting to know more and more people who have it. Oh, a ton. I mean yeah. like, and some of them aren't doing so well. I know. Yeah. yeah it's been a, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. Um, and you know, there's all those laws. Uh, I heard California's had, you can't have more than like th two people gather for Thanksgiving or something. I mean, they're oh, hard. Yeah. It's, it's going to be hard. It's crazy. And who knows who's right, right? Everybody, whatever their stance is or their belief, they, be everybody believes they're right. And so yeah. I think we just all have to learn to be just, let's just be kind <laughs> to everyone. Let's just get through this, whatever way we need to get through it. And, and, uh, 
you know, do what we can. You know, I was thinking about, we were talking about waiting to the last minute. Is there anything else on that protocol I need to know? Or what do I need to know something about the COVID protocol that I, I mean, other than a mask, is there something else I need to do? Do I have, was I supposed to go get like a test before I came? What, what am I supposed to do? No, I don't think we have to have a test. Hopefully I didn't read that because I've not had one either, but um, they, you do have to bring your mask and then they, they're going to break us up. I think like in smaller groups of people that we travel with or been with or whatever. And then um, we do have to, we'd have to check. That way if we get COVID, we can blame it on ourselves because we came with those people. That's right. Yeah. But we do have to check in every day with our temperature and like a couple other things that like the actual check-in, you know, but now, oh my gosh, Linda, I just saw last night that there's a tropical storm coming, like headed for down there a little bit. So it's supposed to be rainy. I think a lot of the stuff is outside and we're going on that yacht. So this morning I was like rethinking my whole, what am I going to wear? Um, that makes me even matter that this Tarte collection rain jacket I fell in love with didn't have my size. I mean, that oh. really really is disturbing but I mean like is it like gonna hit while we're there or are we just gonna get some sprinkles because you know normally in Florida it just rains a little bit and then it stops mm, uh -uh. Oh, I think it's gonna hit while we're there I think well it's it hits I think tomorrow and Tuesday and technically we won't start till Wednesday morning but yeah I looked I looked it up and it's this morning so it's, like it actually says tropical storm morning <laughs> on the I mean, what is a tropical storm? I mean, I live in Texas. We don't have tropical storms. What is it? Is it like big winds? I think it's a lot, it of, rain. lot of rain. It's actually hitting there kind of today. So 100% today, 80% Monday, 80% Tuesday. And then it does go to like 60, 50, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is when we're outside. So hopefully that part will be okay. Hey, that's just going to be more conviction why I didn't pick a beach house in Florida. I freaking hate humidity. I just don't like it. It's not my hair's friend. It's not my face's friend. It's nobody's <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have a mask on my hair this morning because from going back and forth between Kentucky and South Carolina, the girl who's my friend who does my hair, she's like, I can tell a difference from your hair being around like the salt water and humidity because it dries it out. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah. Well, so other than the tropical storm, I'm glad we had this conversation, tropical storm, temperature every day. So that means I guess if I have a temperature one day, I'm just going to have to go lay in my room. Yeah. Hopefully you won't. <laughs> hope the bed is comfortable. <laughs> I know. I know. I am excited to get down there. I've never been to West Palm beach. So it, everybody says it's great. Well, I went to my, you know, okay. I went to my girl yesterday that I really trust her advice on clothes and stuff. I don't know if you, did I take you into Megan's? Uh, I know we went to Breesley's when you were here. No, only Breesley's. Oh man, I love Megan's. Next time you come, we'll go to Megan's. Okay. I just love her. She's just a wealth of knowledge. She loves what she does. And you know, she's one of those that she won't even let like young girls too much work in her shop because she wants people that understand style and yeah. clothes and all that stuff, which, which, which totally makes sense. But anyway, cause I went to, into one store yesterday and that they had nothing but young people and every question you're asked was like, Oh no, I don't know. I'm like, well, what are you here for just to take money or what? Because I need help here. I mean, do like teenagers like this kind of purse? Cause it's about to be Christmas and I haven't picked one gift. So girl help me or boy help me. Somebody help me here. And she's like, it's my second day. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. So I went, then I went to Megan's. It was so refreshing. So she, I said to Megan, I said, Megan, look, I, I'm going to Florida, which is like backwards in time. They're going to be 80s and 70s. <laughs> I, I mean, my house looks like a bomb hit it because I'm redoing my closet. I'm like, girl, you got to help me. And she said, well, just bring some of your clothes up here. What you think might be working. So I brought, I mean, like literally, who walks into a boutique with a bunch of clothes normally you're supposed to I'd walk out with a bunch of clothes so I walked in we hung them in in the thing and in between all of our other people she's trying to help me and <laughs> and so I, she, I said you know I got this cocktail party and god I haven't worn a cocktail dress in a while and she's like was well, it inside outside I'm like, I have no idea because I don't I'm not a detailed person it's on a yacht oh crap I, okay well anyway she asked me about the yacht I'm, she goes you know it depends on I said what do I wear on a yacht she goes, <laughs> Well, it depends on the yacht. I'm like, what do you mean it depends on the yacht? I mean, it's a yacht, not a yacht. And I said, well, let's just put it this way. It's John Maxwell yacht. It'll be the best yacht out there. So now what do I wear? <laughs> and so we're there trying to put it together. And she's like, 
when is this? I'm like, well, I leave Monday. She's like, you leave Monday? <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, it's two days. Well, Saturday, it's two days before I, well, day and a half at least before I leave. Megan, good Lord, how much time do you need? <laughs> Go back then and back. And if something new came in, bring it out. I love it. Oh my gosh. That's so, did she put some together? Did you get some good outfits? Yeah, but today I woke up thinking, mm, I don't like that dress for the cocktail party. So I'm back to, so my Sunday task is, I, I got so much going on. When you and I finish yeah. here today, I've got a new guy I'm trying for massage because I need massage so bad and I'm so banged up from all my running and weights. And get this, his middle name is Stretch. I'm like, he's got to be good. Actually, so he, in real life, that's his middle name? No, I'm sure he just put that in there. <laughs> marketing i'm not sure i watched him at our gym we go i go to a gym called the iron den when she doesn't come to my house like if the time doesn't work out and he was massaging the owner which who well, is like this be guy that is like so muscly and i'm like well god if he can work through those rocks he can surely work through my little boulders that i have on my shoulders <laughs> so he's coming today next then we i gotta hurry up after that we gotta do a go do a drive-by birthday for Jimmy's aunt who is turning 99. God bless her. Oh, where is yeah. she at? Denton? Uh, no, she's in Dallas. Thank God. Because then I got to run to Nordstrom's <laughs> <laughs> and there's no Nordstrom's in Denton. So thank God her birthday drive by is in Dallas. And I'm like, can you go fast by the drive by? Cause I got to hurry. <laughs> I got to get all this stuff and then get home, get it packed. And then I got a hair appointment at four. Oh, I know this morning I, I literally, I said to Adam, I said, today it is, I have to get my life together, together day. And he said, what exactly does that mean? I said, I have to get my hair, I have to get my nails, I have to situate my face, I have to pack all my stuff, I have to run, I have to run to Nordstrom or somewhere and get a pair of shoes because I didn't, okay, so we haven't even like this whole, so, and I needed to pick your brain on this anyway, because, you know, I have through COVID have been going back and forth between my home in Kentucky where all my businesses and my life is in oh. South Carolina. And so we bought a new house in Charleston two weeks ago. And oh my gosh. It, Which, I mean, by the way, the internet sucks in. So get that fixed. Caitlin oh, couldn't see me very well because the internet. I know it's well, we, I think it's better now. Adam has all these little things all over the house. But um, so I like, don't work in your master closet. It, it <laughs> that's what? Where, they don't work in your master closet because that's where Caitlin was hiding to talk to me the other day. <laughs> That was before we had internet actually. So hopefully now it's good, but that's what I was going to tell you. It's like, I have stuff in both places because yeah. I'll go there for two weeks, here for two weeks, there for two weeks, here for two weeks. And so I just have two of everything. Well, then this morning I woke up, which is like, okay. Cause I feel blessed that I've been able to do that. But this morning I'm like, I have no cocktail shoes for the cocktail. Cause all my dress shoes are in Kentucky. So I'm like, today I'm going to have to go find a nice pair of shoes somewhere um, but how did you just originally kind of just little by little, you got stuff in San Diego and you got stuff there and you got stuff in Briar. Oh, it's awful girl. <laughs> it's not going to be good on your pocketbook. I know. It's but, already I, not. but my, and, but my quest to master this craziness of wardrobe for me that I'm on with my closet getting redone yep. and I want outfits hung together. I want to walk into, I want to have less stuff. Cause good Lord, if you, did you see the video I did? Did no. Caitlin yet? Okay. No. Well, it's in our shared folder. So tell, tell Caitlin to let you in. I did the video you told me to do, went through my closet, showed them what I wish I'd done before, like you said, but yeah. showed them what I'm doing. And then I showed them all the clothes. So I said, no haters, because I grew up getting my clothes from Salvation Army. Now I give clothes to Salvation Army, like 13 bags recently, and I still have way too much. Yeah. But the goal is to do this. I want outfits put together, everything, because I'm, I will leave Megan's store and forget half of what she told me to put with stuff. And it, yeah. you know, it just doesn't stick in my brain. It's not, it's not how I think. So I need people like her to help me figure that out. But literally it's so hard. Like I, I wanted these black pants to wear to ocean air last night to dinner with, for Jimmy's birthday. Cannot find them anywhere. So I'm texting Betty who's trying to spend time with her son 14,000 times. Where's my black slick pants? You know, those black real shiny slick ones that almost look like leather and, Thank God. She's like, she knows, you know, she said, well, they would either be on this rack or this rack um, <laughs> or the, in the stack of pants that's folded, you know, but they're not here. And I'm thinking, did I leave those in Florida? I will get to a store 
and I will go, oh, I love that jacket, but didn't I already buy that? And, and Stephanie in California will go, yeah, you did already. Let me go look. Yeah, you did already buy it. So then I text Betty and go, take a picture of it and go, can you find this jacket? That's why I redid my closet. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. When yeah. I thought, Linda, when you bought something this cute and you can't find it because you got so much crap in your closet, <laughs> it's time to redo the closet and get rid of stuff. So I, I, I feel for you, but I promise you, you're going to look up and everything you want or need is going to be another place. Oh, that's, I've already done that. I know it's, it is crazy. I finally felt like I'm a little bit getting a grip on it now. Um, but yeah, it's, but I did go, I did go to all wood hangers in the closet. And so actually this morning while I was getting ready to come up here and doing laundry and stuff, Ad, I had Adam switching out all of his shirts to all matching wood hangers. He was like, this isn't that, like, this is too much data. Like you've gone too far. Hey, well, he didn't watch, he didn't spend a whole weekend watching home edit. Home edit. One of those perfect hangers too. That's what I said. I know. I told Caitlin the same thing. I'm like, home edit was also not good for my pocketbook. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You're going to have to go to some place that does nails and toes at the same time today. I mean, you oh. just can't afford to go to one of those places that takes God all day to do the hands and then half another day to do your feet. It, we ain't got time for that. I know. I know we don't. What are, have you, what are you looking most forward to for John Maxwell? Um, you know, did I see on there? Oh gosh, what's the guy's name? Um, a bunch of great ones. Let me pull it up. This one starts with an A, and I want to say he started like that. Prime that America. Prime America. Yeah, that's who I'm oh, the most forward to too. That's who I'm most excited about. I don't know who some of the others are, and I was going to Google them, but I ran out of time. Yep. Did you Google any of them to see? Yeah, and he's also got um. I think he's the guy that said this. Maybe it's him or the Amway guy that said this. If you want to live with the masses, sell to the classes. If you want to live with the classes, sell to the masses. And that is always stuck in my mind. And I haven't figured out totally how to do it yet, but it's stuck in my mind. I love that. Yep. He's got that. Um, oh, who was it that I, there was another one that Adam said, oh my gosh, I can't believe that that's, that he's, uh, oh, and also Casey Crawford, uh, uh, who owns Movement Mortgage, is speaking. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then um, the Jeff Henderson, Benjamin Watson, but there was one more that, oh shoot, I don't know, I can't find it, but it looked like there was a, tons of really, uh, going to be really great speakers. Good. Well, that, that'll be a great episode for us afterwards. We'll take some, we'll take some of your great notes and share them with everybody. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to get, I know I was thinking this morning, do I need, do I want to take them on my iPad again or on paper? I couldn't decide because I'm the crazy note person. Yeah. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. Well, anything else new or anything else you feel like we need to share with, with everybody? So next, our next episode will be our hundredth episode. So we'll have to, I cannot believe we've had a hundred episodes. This is our okay. 99th. Oh, we're going to have to get some great ideas from everybody on what, what we would they'd like for us to do on our hundredth ep episode. That'd be awesome. I know. I know. But, but hurry. Cause it's coming up, right? Is it not, it's not this Tuesday, right? No, it's not this Tuesday. It's next Tuesday. So it'll be the one after this that drops will be our hundredth episode. Ooh, wow. That's, yeah. that's, maybe we need to do a hundred of something, but that's a lot. I don't know if we can get it through a hundred of anything. Oh, but that would be a good idea. Yeah. If we hundred things you want to do before you kick the bucket. I don't know something. We'll have to think of something. Oh, great idea. Let's do that or something like that. Yeah, that'd be good. You could, if you did 50 and I did 50, we could get through them. Oh, there you go. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> I, I do want to talk about not maybe not on this episode because it's going to take too long, but I do want to, something I've been thinking about lately is, how to decide what things you should try on your own and what things you should get help for. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's been kind of a theme of mine lately. So maybe our next episode, uh, we will kind of catch up and talk about what are some of the things, how do you decide when to try to do something yourself and how do you decide when to, and give me, get, let's give some ideas of like my closet for me was a great idea of me making a really bold decision that I could be my own subcontractor on it and I could do it. Uh, and, you know, not spend 40000 like, you know, I was probably going to spend on it yeah. and instead do it for, you know, under 20, maybe even 16. So I didn't know that. So you're doing it yourself? Oh, yeah. 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 I can't tell you the whole story because I'm afraid it might get out there and I can't let cat out of the bag about something right now. But uh, but there's some cool stuff that happened uh, out of it. 
out of the out of the closet situation. But yeah, I learned a lot. So maybe next episode we'll talk about that. So when's it gonna be done? When's the closet? When's the grand reveal? Okay, the marble um, went in yesterday. The marble went in yesterday. Uh, the electric pull down, um, whatever they're called, rods. Which yep. which were, yeah, you know how high my ceilings are. Yep. So the electric, all the boxes have electrical pull downs. The marble is finished. That those will be finished on Tuesday. The lights are coming in in the next week. I think uh, I do have the chandelier already picked out, but I can't. I can't put it up until they get through putting the electrical things down because they don't want anything in your closet when they do that. My floors will get redone. Um, probably, probably really, I would guess in about two weeks, it'll be completely finished. Glass is getting put in next week. Glass shelves and glass doors are getting put in. Did you find a picture of one that you loved and, or how did you do it? Yeah. Well, uh, next episode. We'll okay. talk about that. So, I can't wait. That's, Awesome. Well, hey, listen, since we're out of time, uh, Dana, thank you. This has uh, been a good time to just catch up and chit chat. Yep. Uh, but, but remember, if, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click below and subscribe to our podcast. And the greatest uh, compliment you can give Dana and I is to pass this podcast on to someone, a friend or a co-worker or anybody that you feel like a client even that you feel like would benefit from our conversations. Uh, be sure and uh, pass this along. And we'd love to have your ideas of what topics and things you'd like to hear Dana and I talk about. And so Dana, I will see you in 24 hours. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. right. Yes. Tomorrow. Safe travels. Right. Can't wait. All right. See you then. See you then. Be sure to subscribe for more business strategies and tactics to inspire you to live an abundant real estate life. Don't forget to rate and review so we can bring you the best content. Find this and other valuable information at everythinglifeandrealestate.com.